Alexa has come to the iPhone, but you can't kick Siri out just yet. You can use your voice though within the Alexa app to make requests, turn on smart devices, and more. Let's take a look, but first I want to say hi, my name is Craig and this is my tech talk. Here I do tech tips and reviews along with the weekly Echo series. Please check out the links for more information about the Echoes and anything I might have missed. This is a warning, this is an Echo video, and I'm using the Alexa app. So I will be saying Alexa and Echo a lot. If you use those names for your devices, please hit mute on your device so that I don't trigger it and you don't get frustrated. Alexa is one of the most powerful virtual assistants out there, way more powerful than Siri. And now within the Alexa app, you can access Alexa. Unfortunately, you can't replace Siri and you can't call up Alexa any other way but within the app. There are a lot of features that the Echo and using Alexa are very helpful for, but once it's on the iPhone and you can't access it instantly, you really are faster off with a lot of things just accessing the app individually. But we're gonna take a look at it. I'm a little skeptical. I'm gonna dive in and we'll see what commands and what things may actually look better and work better on the Echo. First, we're gonna open up the Alexa app and you'll see on the bottom of the screen the little icon for accessing Alexa. When you push the icon for the first time, you are gonna have to allow Alexa permission to do calling, messaging, control smart devices, and location services. Once you click on that and allow it, now it's ready to accept a request. A tip for opening up Alexa would be to use its competitor, Siri. Hey Siri, open up the Alexa app. And she just opened up the competitor. Let's go down the list of things we can try. Amazon Music, yeah, you could use that on there. Uh, Multi-room music, I have a feeling that's not gonna work. Jokes, yeah. Timers, iPhone's probably quicker. Routines, that is something that you could activate. Smart home, if you're used to calling up things on a smart home or you have devices that aren't HomeKit enabled, that makes sense. Skills, that'd be another one. Books, okay. Drop in, that seems like it'd be more useful. Weather, I don't think so much. Voice profiles, maybe. Announcements, if that works. Uh, messaging, yeah, I could see that. Calendar, if you want, are used to inputting stuff into your calendar using the Echo across all your devices. Remember this, that could be another one to add. Recipes and cooking. I guess there's more than I realize using radio and podcasts. Prime video, I don't know if it'll open that. We're gonna have to try a couple of them and you're gonna have to try this at home if you're interested in this app and feel free in the comment section, let me know some of the stuff that you might find. We'll go through some of these and see if this does add value. Let's try Amazon Music and multi-room music. Play classical music everywhere. Here's a station for classical music. Classical Focus from Amazon Music, playing on the Everywhere Group. So it's playing on the Everywhere Group. That means it's playing everywhere else. Okay, that's good. Computer, pause. Multi-room music can be triggered from the app. I like that. So if you're not immediately next to a device, but I think you could just turn it on at a device. So not critical. Routines would be another one you could trigger from your phone. Let's try one. Alexa, good night. Okay. That was good night. It turns off that light right there. Let's try just controlling a smart home device. Alexa, turn on tall lamp. Individual smart control devices you can use, especially if it's not tied to HomeKit. So that gives you a new layer of control instead of opening up the manufacturer's app. So I'll give a 50-50 on that. But you can do drop in is another option. Drop in on office. It asked me if it could use the camera. Not that it needs it for this. Okay, I'm gonna get a feedback loop there, but it did drop in on it. So that's another option. You could drop in on your devices at home instead of calling someone. So I guess that has some use there. Continuing on, whether I'd get from my phone. Messaging would be similar to drop in. So if you are someone that uses messaging, you could just continue using it on here instead of using the little messaging icon. I guess that's a, another option. Some of these other ones really kind of come down to whether you decide to use Echo to manage things or you use your phone to manage things, such as calendars. If I want to say, if I want to put something on my calendar, make an appointment. Sure, what day and time? 
Tomorrow at 12 p.m. And what's the name of the event? Lunch. I'll schedule lunch on Thursday, July 5th at 12 p.m., okay? Yes. Okay, I've added that. So it added it to the calendar my wife and I share. So if that is a way you input information around your house and that has become something you use, it's nice to carry that on. That goes into to-do list. That's another item that if that is where you make your list, this gives you a nice way to carry that on with your voice instead of having to type things on your list. Let's see what happens when we ask for a recipe. Show me a lasagna recipe. Okay, for lasagna, I recommend the top recipe called lasagna, She's which showing takes me nothing. three hours and ten minutes to make. I'm going to write that you off as not you. useful. Uh, radio and podcast, I use the native podcast player. So what comes to travel, transportation, if I have my phone, I'm going to use a map program. Uh, for business finances, I'm going to use apps that are on my phone. Prime Photos, if you use Prime Photos, that could be used. I use iPhoto. If you haven't owned an iPhone, you're probably using iPhoto. Movie Showtimes, I'm going to look that kind of stuff up. A lot of this other stuff, I'm going to use the native apps for it. But check it out. I have kind of mixed feelings on this one. I like where a lot of the different Echo stuff goes. But this one, I feel like... The limitations of Apple are going to hurt this and make it less useful than it should be. It would be nice if Apple can let other assistants in there, let people do it, but in reality, I don't think it's gonna happen. Please, let me know if you have any comments or questions and what you think of this. My question for you, do you think this app adds value? You know that I'm on the fence with it. What do you think and how are you gonna implement it into your echo world let me know in the comment section if you like this video please hit the like button and share it with a friend if this is the first time you've stopped by and watched one of these videos subscribe hit the bell next to it you'll be notified of next week's video i appreciate you taking the time to watch this have a great day bye